Okay, I got five tips I wanna share on prepping your walls for paint. So one of the biggest mistakes I see people make is when they're patching holes. Like this is where a zip it, and this, if you don't familiar with a zip it, it looks like this. So when you have a place where there's a zip it, you must cut the loose out from around it. If you don't, it'll always show. So take a razor knife, And don't be afraid to cut a little extra out and cut it into like a V groove. Make sure there's no loose paper showing right there. So when you fill that, it'll, it won't show up. Number two is when you have nail holes or smaller holes that may have a little, a little bit sticking up, a good thing to use and what I use is a Phillips screwdriver. So you just put that Phillips screwdriver in there and push it in and it'll recess that hole. Here's another one. It'll recess that hole and it'll give the mud a little bit of something to grab a hold of. But if it's protruding at all, you have to cut it off. So number three, when you have a situation like this, where this has been cut in, there was a light fixture here, this has been cut in around and there's a line right here, you can feel it. So to get rid of that line, this, this, this is an Alpha knife with a, with a blade that has a breakaway blade. But that edge of that blade is perfect for scraping and it's real sharp. So you can scrape that ridge off and you can see the, you can see the paint coming off. But you can scrape that down to where it's smooth. And then when you roll it over, because it, we're putting a different fixture here, when you roll this over, you won't see that line. So here's a spot where we have a, a crack from um, settling crack or whatever. It, uh, who knows what caused it, but it's when it cracked, it, it's protruding a little bit. So you, you're going to have to cut that out. You have to cut out whatever is protruding. So you just kind of cut a wedge shape into that as well. So if you if there's tape there, which is, this may have been a joint previously. It, the tape is probably compromised anyway, so don't worry about cutting through the tape. We're gonna retape this. But you need to groove it out to where there's no loose mud. And then we're gonna retape it. All right, so what we're using for this is this five minute mud. That means it's got five minutes of working time. That doesn't mean it's ready to sand in five minutes, but it's got five minutes of working time, so you can't mess around. So basically what we're gonna do first is cut a piece of tape. And the length that we need. Probably should have done this before. So I just mixed up just a little bit because it's it's got such a short working time, you don't want to make too much, so. You want to put a thin layer, about an eighth of an inch thick, and then tape on there and try to hold it in place and pull the mud out from behind it. And you're going to push it out a little bit at the top and it's like that. But and you want to try to skim over it just a little bit. So this may take, this may take another coat, but we'll come back in about an hour and see if we can recoat it. Also using a five minute mud on this and these other little spots here. And this will shrink up so in about an hour or so you can probably recoat it. Maybe not quite an hour. 
30 minutes, but it'll, it'll draw up a little bit inside these bigger holes and then you can recoat it. Last but not least, remove the cover plates before you paint. It just looks so much more professional, plus you won't stick your cover plates to the wall with the paint. Sometimes when you try to cut in around them, they, uh, the paint will, will glue that plate right to the wall and if you can't get it off, you have to cut it off. So, but one thing you have to be aware of is you can get shocked in here. You can get your fingers in here if you have children. Same with receptacles, just beware, keep your kids away.